This video is a really important one. This is a security vulnerability in WordPress currently affecting thousands of WordPress websites. It could be affecting your websites and you may not even be aware of it. It's quite a scary one. Let's go through the details. I'm Alex from Ideaspot. Let's get started. Now, this SEO spam hack causes WordPress sites to have lots of spammy listings in Google search. And this is affecting a lot of sites, and I mean thousands, even government websites, educational websites. It's affecting sites right now. I'm going to show you in just a second some of the affected sites. I'll show you how this hack actually works and how to check if your site is affected. And finally, we'll go on to how to fix it, how to prevent it, and how to remove those spam listings from Google search. So this is a really important one. I recommend watching this one right to the end, fully understanding this issue and making sure that all your sites are all secure. So let's get started. So let's start with an example of a spammer using this vulnerability. So if you go to Google and type in weker.xyz, you'll get a bunch of listings, spam listings, that this spammer has inserted onto all of these pages. Now, some of these are government, some of these are educational websites. So we can see that um, uh, Mississippi State University is affected by this. So the spammer's just inserted the name of the site and a few spammy keywords on here, and they've indexed this link into Google. And they've gone and repeated that process thousands of times, probably by using a script and just index tons and tons of pages. And it's affected loads of even government websites. If we type site um, using the .gov here, we can see uh, lots of even government websites are affected. Here we've got the US Department of Energy is affected by this as well. So here's the Minnesota government. Here is a high school. Here is an Australian government website. So let's go through how this actually works. So going back to our Mississippi State University example, all you have to do is look at this search bar here on the WordPress site. So you can just go to that search bar. You can paste anything you want in there and press enter, and you'll see that the page actually generates the text that you pasted in there. So WordPress basically repeats the search query on the page and spits it out here. You can put whatever you want in here pretty much. So I might try it again with some emojis and a name of a website, for example. So there we go. Now we've got something like this. We've got emojis. We've got the name of a website and a bunch of keywords if we wanted to put keywords in there. And we've got a link up here. So we could just copy that link and go to go to any HTML editor, for example, the WordPress post editor. Uh, what the spammer would actually do is just create links to their spammy searches and just paste in their spam search link there and link back to the uh, search request that they made. And then go ahead, repeat that thousands of times and create lots of spam listings in Google. Now, the scary thing about this hack is it doesn't require any access. You don't need an admin account. You don't need any user passwords, anything like that. You don't need to inject any code. It is all just done just through that search bar. So very simple to pull off and it can be very widespread because of its simplicity and it can affect sites that don't even know that it's happened to them. So in the case of this US Department of Energy, if we scan this website, it scans clean. You can go to Securi, scan it. We've scanned it here, no malware, site's not blacklisted, nothing serious on here. There's a few mixed content errors, but that's not the cause. The only thing, the only clue that we've got here is it's running WordPress 5.62. That is one version old, so it hasn't been fixed. It is vulnerable to this attack. And even if this website had been updated, these spam listings might stay in Google for weeks or even months until Google crawls through and replaces those spam listings. So let's actually check this poor US government website and see how badly it's been spammed. So back to Google, I'm going to go site, I'm going to type in their domain and just put a spam keyword like dating or something similar like that. And let's have a look. So on this website alone, we can see that just for the keyword of dating, there is over a hundred pages been listed in Google. And it's not just that, um, lots of other domains are abusing this website. So it's, it's, it's a complete mess. And if that can happen to the US government, that can happen to pretty much any WordPress website. So in order to check, just go to Google, type in your own website's domain there, just put some spam keywords and see if you've been hit by this attack at all. So just, just go ahead and try this for yourself and see if any of your sites are affected. And if they have been affected, we'll talk about how to fix it a little bit later in the video. The sad thing about this is when I was researching this issue, I actually found a post more than two years, three months ago that actually reported this issue. And they just said, okay, 
there's lots of spam listings. It's affecting thousands of spam pages. Someone just said, use an SEO plugin to set the meta for your search page to no index. So if you were using an SEO plugin like Yoast or Rank Math, you would have avoided this issue completely just by um, adding that little bit of code to the header of your search pages. They went ahead and posted a few examples here. So SEO by Rank Math, um, Yoast and uh, SEO Press. So that was that. Everyone moved on with their lives. But people who weren't aware of this um, have been spammed like we can see right now. Then finally, four months ago, someone re-raised the issue. Why are search results not tagged with a no index tag by default? Someone said, thanks for your feedback. We have raised this as a ticket and it's actually been fixed in WordPress 5.7. So not until 5.7 was this issue fixed. Well, what's the problem with that? The problem with that is that loads of people are not using 5.7 yet. If we look at the stats, only 48% are on 5.7. Most WordPress sites are using something slightly older. So not everyone updates straight away. A lot of people need to use older versions because they're using custom plugins or custom themes that aren't compatible with the latest version yet. So what do these people do? They can use Yoast or Rank Math, but if they haven't used those, then they are going to be vulnerable. So that is a lot of WordPress sites. I mean, thousands of WordPress sites are going to be vulnerable. Anyway, so if you can't run the latest version of WordPress for whatever reason, Plugins, add new, search for SEO. These ones are free, they work fine. And by default, they'll block this issue. So that will work just fine. If you wanna check your own site, for example, I'll just test this WB Beginner blog here. You can actually uh, do a search query and just go ahead and view the page source and you should find the robots set to no index here. So meta name robots, content, no index. So it doesn't matter what people search for on here. The result page is never gonna get indexed. They're gonna avoid this issue completely. So just perform that test on your own website using the search function. If you're not using a search function on your page, on the front end of your page, you can just do it just by manually typing in question mark, uh, S equals uh, whatever here, and you'll get a search result by doing that as well. So you can test any WordPress site by adding that string to the end of your domain. And finally, you might ask, what if I'm already using Yoast or I'm already using Rank Math? I've just installed it. I've just updated to 5.7. I've still got those spam listings on Google search. What do I do? How do I get rid of them? So simply adding these aren't going to get rid of the listings. Um, updating the WordPress website's not going to get rid of the listings completely. What do we do in that situation? So to actually remove the stuff from Google, you need to add your site to Google Search Console. Once you've added your site to Google Search Console, go ahead, go to removals here, and you can remove all URLs with this prefix. So you can remove the URLs with the search prefix by just typing in your site slash, and then put the code for the search on there. So uh, question mark S equals, in most cases, it will look like that. In some cases, the listings might be slash search. So you could put slash search on there on the removal tool as well. So you could put slash search as well and just remove all URLs with the slash search prefix and the slash question mark S prefix. And Google will go ahead and remove all those for you. This will be done for the next six months or so. So by the time it crawls your website again and you fixed it with uh, 5.7 or by using Yoast or Rank Math or whatever, then everything should be fine. Just be aware that this is not instant. It does take a few hours at least, maybe a few days, but it is reasonably quick to remove those spam listings from Google search results. So that pretty much wraps it up. This is a very interesting issue. I found this quite interesting researching it and how to fix it, how it works. Uh, this is just one vulnerability that might affect WordPress. There's lots of different vulnerabilities that can affect WordPress or have affected WordPress in the past. Check out my WordPress security video. I made this a while ago where I talk about different WordPress security plugins. So check that one out too. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.